long day. Nothing yet. So far, just one macro. Very slow. Very, very, very slow. There are boats are out here now too, but not marking anything at all. Nothing much. So might not be much to put on video for today, but uh, try a little bit more. See if I can put something on. see it but all that splashing over there that's a whale the tail is coming up slapping the water and it's been doing that for the past minute at first I thought it was something crazy up by the forest above there but no just a whale just a whale slapping the water Look at that, see? I just took a breath. It's gonna go back and slap again. See? More slapping. Look at that, more tail slap. That is the craziest thing ever. Look at that, more tail slap. That's crazy. Breathe and then more tail slap. See? More tail slap. That is insane. What kind of what kind of attitude is that? Or what, what is it doing? Tail slap. See? More tail slap. Well, so much for uh my spot over here. I was supposed to come back over here and fish in that little cove. It's supposed to be some uh, little sweet spot for uh, trout fishing and uh, brought my fly gear. Uh, guess not today. Hey. Good man, water shallow. Water so low. I don't know. I might give it a shot. Few casts, I guess. So, what shall we use today? skunk yesterday doing uh, salmon fishing and pretty much uh, all I caught was a uh, mackerel troll around for a while and uh, it's kind of slow right now so I got off well kind of slow yesterday so I got off the water and um, I'm out here up in the mountains I might go do a little fly fishing in a little bit see if I can catch something if not oh well uh, came out, uh, pretty much just had some fun, do a little climbing, and yeah, um, found some mushroom, which was pretty crazy. Went hiking through the, the woods for a little bit, and then uh, found a couple bolete, a couple uh, spring king, or just king bolete, and, um, and I found some uh, rusula also too, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back right now and go down to my car and then um, cook some food, eat some food, and then show you guys why I love catching salmon or why I, I spend so much time chasing salmon is because of the garblax. The garblax, it's a very unique dish. It's a Scandinavian dish. 
and it's so simple to make and it's super delicious and you could just eat it the way it is or put it on bread or cracker and a little here and there and it's delicious expensive too but if you're living by the coast and you're catching salmon while they're fresh might as well turn some into garlax and i'll show you the details in a bit um so that way you don't spend all your uh salmon or use all your salmon on sushi and baking or deep frying i don't know about deep frying the head yeah but um yeah i'll show you guys my recipe or my method or what i do with my salmon and the or like I said again, the main reason why I go salmon fishing is carb lax. Alright, let me uh, put my gears away and I'll show you guys how it's done. Should cut it a little thicker, but oh. Salmon I caught the other day. Not too sweet, not too salty, huh? Put the salmon right there. Cut a couple slices first. So I brought some salmon earlier, or some salmon in an ice chest too, and I'm gonna show you my prep. So one more. One more. Keepers? I don't know. All I know is it tastes pretty damn good. Mixture is forty percent salt. 60% sugar. Spices. The salt and sugar is all you need, but you won't get carried away. Put some spice.
this in your fridge for a day and a half, two days, and I like two days. And then rinse it in the sink and dry it off, and then you're good to go. I'll show you guys in two and a half days. I have to come out of light. Alright, so the ingredient is you could do 50 50 and it'll be fine. I like to do close to 60% sugar, 40% salt. And that kind of gives it a little sweetness, but still enough salt to cure the meat. And it'll draw out a lot of the moisture. So after that, you could add, what was it, peppercorn or a little spice, bay leaf, whatever. Don't add too much stuff for us to your uh put too much stuff onto your fish. So just add a little kick, a little extra flavor. Peppercorn usually does good. Some people put mayonnaise, not a mayonnaise, some yeah. Some people put mustard seeds in there. Some people put horseradish. I've done the horseradish before, it's pretty good. It's a great dish or it's a great recipe and it's a good eating a good way to eat your salmon and enjoying it and uh super simple just salt sugar throw it on your salmon filet let it sit in your fridge and uh flip it once in a while if you put it in a bag uh some people they put it in a little rack and let all the water drain out and they just put all the sugar and salt on top of the fish I usually put it in the bag and just flip the bag inside out. The water won't go back inside the fish once it's out. So, yeah, uh, nice and simple. And as far as fishing wise, I did a few casts. I didn't try too hard. I spent maybe about an hour walking around the forest trying to look for mushroom. Found a couple of mushroom, which was pretty interesting. And then did a little rock climbing. And right now, showing you guys. Um, my favorite way to do salmon so hopefully you guys enjoy it hopefully you guys try the recipe um as long as you do 50 50 uh, salt and sugar you can't go wrong i like to use sea salt and cane sugar uh just because it's a little more natural a little bit more cleaner taste i guess or brings out the fish but anything will work and a dice salt uh sugar will work too but brown sugar I just prefer the cane sugar um yeah whole main reason why I catch salmon is for this one recipe and you saw the one I uh, cut right there earlier uh, by the river so nice and simple and uh, really good eating you enjoy it if you never had garlax before so try it all right hopefully next time I could put some more salmon on and make some more of this stuff because freaking good all right, see ya.